A VPN for your iPhone? Let's check it out. Dave Taylor here, and I want to talk about virtual private networks. Kind of a dull topic, but here's the thing. You have your handy iOS device, or maybe Android or something, and I bet when you connect to an open Wi-Fi network, like at a coffee shop or a public library, or even at school, you don't really think about security. You should. Turns out that any Wi-Fi network that you can connect to and someone else can means they can actually have access, potentially, to your data, what you're sending, what you're receiving, images, passwords, all that stuff. Really not good. So, enter virtual private networks. Now, we've talked about VPNs on computers a fair bit, but you might not realize you can also run a VPN on your smartphone. So, I thought it would be useful for me to step you through how to install and use ExpressVPN, happens to be my favorite VPN right now, on your iPhone. So, this is an iPhone 10. Let me switch around and you can see what's on screen and we'll go through the process. Ready? Let's do it. Okay, here I am. I'm in Safari and I've logged into my account at expressvpn.com. If you don't actually have an ExpressVPN account yet, then you can go not directly to the site. I recommend go to vpnmentor.com because they often have discount coupons and certificates for you to get ExpressVPN at a discount. So, easy enough. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tap on Set Up ExpressVPN and then it will actually take me to a page that both gives me the ability to download the app and then sign in to the app. So let's go ahead and open it in the App Store. And it should just take a couple of seconds. There's half of it and it's fully installed. Now, I want to go back to Safari. What I want to do now that the app's installed is just tap on, tap here. And then it actually will launch ExpressVPN and log me in. How simple is that? So, a couple of little features you have to allow, and this one you'll notice, this is a typical iOS prompt when you're going to install a VPN. It will double check that you know what you're doing. I do, so I'm going to allow it. I also have to enter my phone passcode, so I'll do that. And then I will accept notifications. OK. I will allow diagnostic information. And done. And now, this is crazy easy to actually turn on the VPN and become totally encrypted and safe on this public Wi Fi network. I just tap the button to start it. And now I'm fully connected and I can just go and switch back to any app I want or just go back to my home screen, whatever. And now the VPN's running. If I bring down the control screen, you can see on the very top there's a little tiny box that says VPN on it. That's my clue that it's running. So now, let's say that I'm done with it and I want to actually turn it off. All I have to do is go back into the ExpressVPN app, tap that button, and it's off. To confirm, I will go back to the control screen and VPN is no longer there. That's it. Pretty straightforward. So, as you can see, it's really easy to actually work with a VPN on your iPhone. The Android experience is very much the same. There's a little bit of putzing around to try to get it all to install correctly, but once it's done, it's super easy to work with. And I really recommend that you, with your new iOS device, or even one you've had a long time, whether it's an iPad or an iPhone, is get a VPN and use it when you're on a big, busy public Wi-Fi network. You will thank me later when other people find that they have their credit card data stolen or password stolen or confidential data stolen and you don't. That's a good thing. So, this is Dave Taylor. I hope this was helpful and I'll catch you in my next video.